I have been blackmailed by people that wanted to leak my story to the press. So Dylan and I, we clicked and he didn't know. Today we're reacting to Nikki Tutorials. I mean, she's pretty, isn't she? And she's, the, yeah, and she's there with James Charles on that one. I mean, she's one of the largest beauty people online. And she does like Lady Gaga's makeup. Oh my gosh, so that's she's like, crazy. I mean, can you imagine being that big? No. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is my favorite one. I'm, I better click Bird on this one. Bird box inspired. Back in with that yellow and let's get that feathery look going. That's that, crazy. That's awesome. It's actually like the makeup that I'm into. I'm actually into this. That's the final product. It's pretty cool. Some of my favorite okay, ones. Okay, well let me, I've got my glasses on now so I can see that, that zombie woman again. Remember the um, James Charles Bob mm -hmm. Ross painting tutorial? Yep. She did that as well. I don't know who came up with it, but I, I love that. Mm -hmm. Magic makeup in a bottle spray tutorial. Huh, I don't even mm -hmm. know what that is. Mm, neither. This is pretty cool. The Hello Kitty Halloween makeup. That's creepy. That's creepy. Does she have contacts on? Uh, she, yeah, she yeah. Has she's got to have contacts on, yeah. And, and then, then the clown, colorful clown. That's creepy too. I just don't like clowns. It's a personal thing. Yeah, but as far as clowns goes... It's a pretty clown. That's kind of a cooler, more feminine clown. It's not as scary as it, you know? Oh, look at this. That's really cool. Is that's that, cool. I yeah. mean, that's I can't do that. Yeah, there's, there's artwork going on there. If I had this talent and I like went to all that trouble to put it on, why would I take it off? Okay, so this is the Phantom of the Opera one. This is one of my favorites, too. You can start to see it. See what it looks like done, though. Whoa, it pops. Mm -hmm. it, the looks like is great. it looks like it's out from her actual head, like in front of it. Holy crap, that looks so cool. Oh my god. She's just good at shading. Do you know how sometimes you see a trans person and you can tell somehow? Well, sometimes. Not always. Not always. Not always. And it's nothing offensive. You just wonder. Like you just wonder? Yeah. Well, guess what? Like if it's a woman with a huge Adam's apple, it's kind of like a giveaway. Well, guess what? Because it's genetic. It's uh, hormonal. Is this a girl or a guy? Or was she born a guy or a girl? Well, I would have thought she was born a girl. She was born a male. Really? She was born in the wrong body. She is trans. I'm coming out. So she's coming out as trans. She was born a male, okay. and now she is a female. And I've always known her as a female, which is good because pronouns can be difficult, but when you already know somebody like that, it's yeah. easier. I respect everyone. I always try to call them what they want to be called. But basically, somebody was trying to blackmail her because they knew she was trans. Really? So they're like, hey, we're going to go to the media unless blah, blah, blah. And she's like, well. I'm stopping your ass. <laughs> I, I better come forward. But what's cool is she's been on YouTube for, I think, 10 years. I'm not exactly sure. But she always wanted her work to speak for itself. Yeah. And I just think it's cool that she gained like 12 million followers without using trans. So her work obviously is talented. Yeah. It, her work is it's awesome. No, I would have had no idea that she was born male. But we'll get into like the whole blackmail situation okay. soon. Well, this, that's this messed up. You shouldn't out somebody, especially with blackmail. I've had four people try to do that to me in my life. Four. It was a manipulation. Especially tactic. young people end up committing suicide if they feel like they're about to be outed because they don't know how their family's going to take it. And I know you worried strongly on after even I met you about that factor. Um, so, I made a video about it, outing yeah. people. Yeah, you can link that one down there. Because I, I've had like somebody on the rig when I was on the oil rig telling me that they were gonna out me as a manipulation tactic. Trying to, try to, get to use you to me do to do stuff. To, to try to get me to have sex with them. Today I am here to share something with you that I've always wanted to share with you one day, but under my own circumstances. And it looks like that chance has been taken away from me. So today I am taking back my own power. Planet Earth is full of labels and I never felt comfortable with labels. I wanted to be my own person. I was born in the wrong body, which means that I am transgender. If we are gonna put a label on it, yes, I am transgender. I understand not liking labels. Yeah. I couldn't even use the word gay when I was coming out because there was so much negative connotation for like, those shoes are gay, which meant stupid. Like those shoes are stupid. It was kind of the same thing. I hated the word gay. I do use it now because it's easier and you start realizing that labels are, they're a love-hate relationship. You yeah. can love labels. Like I love saying I'm a man, but at the same time saying I'm gay, I feel a little bit more awkward, but they're both labels. Mm -hmm. So you can still feel comfortable. The one's very, very obvious. The other is not. You couldn't out yourself as a man. <laughs> it's but obvious. You never know though. Like. <laughs> There's men that are very, Bruce Jenner. He was very manly and he 
is now Caitlyn Jenner, so it's she. Yeah, I guess. She I got better Caitlyn think Jenner. through that statement, hadn't I? This world needs us. We need to accept each other. We need to respect each other. And she's exactly right. The world needs them. Yeah, of course. Society needs them. Can you imagine waking up and feeling like you're in the wrong body? No. I can't. Mm. Being gay is already tough enough or bi or whatever I am. We haven't figured that one out yet. I'm on the spectrum. <laughs> He's a spectral guy. Remember label? <laughs> I told you the gay label is a tough label for me. I get, I, I identify as a man. I love being a man. But see, and that's a label. Man is a label. Woman is a label. But I like the word man, and I'm like, I'm a man. I, I like that. But um, you say gay, and I'm like, uh, I'll use it occasionally, but. Yeah, we got gotcha. you. Ever since I was born, I've always thought that I was a girl. My mom knew immediately that um, I either was going to be gay or a different type of story. I think the number one thing I'm the most thankful for is my mom. <laughs> that is awesome that her mom supported her. Yeah. And I think by the age of seven, eight, I fully wore girls' clothes only. And it felt amazing. And the teachers were so supportive about it. And of course, kids are kids. You know, this is confusing. And some kids got it and other kids in my class did not. I wonder where she's from. Yeah, well, let's keep watching, find out. My school would not have been supportive. Yeah, growing up in Alabama, no, my that would have been an issue. Uh, just because I know people are gonna ask, yes. Um, I got fully transitioned by the time I was 14. I got my hormones because I'm a tall bitch and I kept on growing and they were like, let's tone that down. I was wondering, does she still have everything? And it's not like to be mean, it's just, I think the mind, we have to be real, the mind works it like that. It does its own thing. I'm surprised they allowed her at 14 to get everything done. A lot of times 18 is like the adult age, so they make you wait. But see, so she was 14 and she was getting hormones, and so that's probably why she doesn't have like the, the big Adam's apple that she would have otherwise dealt with. So then you get into the whole issue. Is it better for someone to transition when they're real young and pre-puberty or just right at the beginning of puberty, you would think, yes, that is, that's the right thing to do. Yet you also end up having individuals who do transition and then later, and who knows what causes it, they like wish they hadn't. So we're all different and who knows which path someone's life is gonna take. I mean, I would be supportive of my kid, but I don't know if I would allow him to do surgeries before 18. I don't know if, I don't know. Like, I, I, I just got to be honest. Like, I would always support them, but, like, I don't really want to mess with someone else's body. I don't want to really be involved with that. I mean, I wish I wasn't circumcised. You can't judge someone in that situation, I think. Yeah, yeah, um, I agree. You just can't judge I agree, them. and I wouldn't know until I'm there, but, like, if I had a son, I wouldn't want him to be circumcised. I would make him do that when he was an adult. I'm serious. Oh, I agree I wouldn't want to do anything body. to his body. It, it, it's hard to say, but, like, I, I'm, I'm guessing for Nikki here. You just knew she was a girl. I mean, she, she always was. She never questioned it. She never like, okay, there's like no question, mom, you know, help me out on this or what have you. If you knew her as a mom and had that close of a connection, you may have no question True. in your mind. True. And if you had another child, we don't name what, and there were things that made you wonder, question, are they are they sure about this? Then maybe you get put into a tighter position. That's a very good point. It's it's so circumstantial. Yeah. Her circumstance, it looked like she just always embraced being a, a woman or a girl. I know people are gonna ask a lot of questions about Dylan. Hello. All right, Dylan. What, did, what, is, what am I about to learn here, Dylan? I've never met anyone like Dylan. He is truly the most kind-hearted man in my life ever. So Dylan and I, we clicked and he didn't know. He knows now, Dylan knows um, about my past, but I wish I told him sooner. Everything felt so magical, so good that I was afraid to lose him. I can't imagine like That'd be tough. meeting someone and have to like carry that secret. I mean, again, this is like one of those things. It's like, you don't go up and say, hi, my name is so-and-so, I'm heterosexual. Hi, my name is so-and-so. I'm gay. I'm gay. Yeah. Hi, I'm so-and-so. I'm trans. That's just like, that's not the way we greet each other. And you would have to tell someone eventually. I feel like, I mean, if you're going to date them. Well, they would need to know. Because, eventually. I mean, I mean, people have aspirations of having their own children. Yeah. Nikki would not be able to produce such. 
We're in the No Children Club too, by circumstance. No, we're not gonna have biological children yeah, yeah. between us. And at the point where I told him my full story, of course, he was shocked, but that is a private matter that we're dealing with and that I'm so proud of that we're able to deal with. It's a private matter, but she did just mention it. It's, it, well, <laughs> she's putting her story out there and people are, are going to have those questions. Yeah, yeah. I do want to address though that if you're watching this and you're in the same situation and you have truly fallen in love with someone, you have to tell the person that you love at some point. It's what they deserve. I agree. I, I agree completely with that. agree. Yeah. And I think it would be very mean of you not to, very cruel. But I understand it'd be tough. I, I would not judge it as being mean. I would judge, what is the correct word of irresponsible? Irresponsible. It would be irresponsible. You trust somebody and you're telling them everything and they're not sharing something that's so personal and you're trying to grow as a relationship and be honest with each other it's kind of like not being honest no it they're kind of hurt it you're, hurt. you're gonna have to do it i can see it being one of the most difficult situations to maneuver through that would be a tough situation mm -hmm. so she's got a lot of likes compared to dislikes but she still has like ninety-one thousand dislikes on this video which is weird that's weird. that's weird so that, that there would be ninety-one thousand people that would dis yeah, thanks for hitting that. I have to go in from, from my side, hit hit like too. It's just weird. It's like, what is there not to like about her? What is there not to like about this girl? Especially this kind of video. Even if you yeah. don't like her makeup, I can understand. But this, this is just her telling her story. Why would you not like this? And she's being so kind. Yeah, I like, I like her. I have been blackmailed by people that wanted to leak my story to the press. And at first, it was frightening. And I know you are watching this. They said they wanted to leak it because I'm lying or that I don't want to tell my truth. So to the people who tried to blackmail me and thought they could really mess up my life with that, this one's for you. I hope you can sit nice on it. <laughs> I agree. That's what I feel. I do too. If you've watched this and you tried to help me, that's how I feel too. That's my favorite part of the video. I like that. Please know that this doesn't change anything about me. I am still Nikki. But it does, but it's all good. It's all good changes. Things are changing, but for the better. And she's saying a lot of the stuff that I, I felt when I was coming out, even as gay. And I was like, I'm still the same person, but I think realistically, I did change. I became a better me yeah. and a more open me. And it's inevitable that you're gonna change because you no longer are trying to hide that secret. All the energy that was going into hiding that secret, you now can spend on embracing yourself. And it's a good change. It's a change that's needed to have self-love. Now, if you look at my first video, however, that is a change because I have grown into a self-respecting, loving woman. She used the label woman. She doesn't mind the label woman. She said it very nicely. Because that's who she is. Yeah, but it's like, but the word I'm trans, she doesn't like as much. They're both labels. Some people might like one label and not like another. Just for the shit of it, let's do a Dutch word of the day. <laughs> Today's Dutch word of the day is for woman. Frau. 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 See, you can tell though, she doesn't mind the label woman. Mm -mm. Most of who she is. That's what she identifies that. So you don't like a, you don't mind a label if for you it's a positive label probably. Vrau. Vrau. I'm a mother fluffing frau, baby, that's right. She's from Holland because she's like teaching Dutch words. She is Dutch. She's Dutch. 1.1 billion views. So she's big. Whoa. I had no idea she was Dutch. That's actually something new too. The Dutch are usually more progressive when yeah. it comes to like trans issues, or at least they were first. Yeah. They seem they to lead more, the way. They lead the way. They're more sane. That's why she was like treated better in school. Yeah. My school, I mean, a person went to my high school got gay bashed. Isn't that crazy? That's the difference. Matthew Shepard and I were both born in Casper, Wyoming. We went to the same high school at different times. He got killed not too far from Casper in Laramie, Wyoming. Okay, she keeps talking about Dylan. Let's see who her Dylan is. You guys wanted to see Dylan, my fiance, do my makeup. He's a cutie. Mm -hmm. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Dylan's skills. I think he, he did pretty good. I think he did good, better than I would do. 2020 is about to be lit. We gonna get married. We gonna get married. We gonna get married. Congratulations. He's a cutie too, they look good together. Cutie. Yeah. So let's meet her mom. I posted a poll on Instagram yes. and I asked my followers if I have seen 
you have seen? Yes. The question was, do we give my mom a fun makeover? Because you deserve it. Or do we give my mom a transformation into me? Let's see how she does. She looks so good. <laughs> their eye colors though, they're very similar. If you just look at their eyes, that's the most similar part of them. And then their shape, the shape of their head. Okay, that's, that's it. cool. It's weird, you know, they've been through all this, but it's like her mom's already always had a daughter. Yeah. And Dylan, her fiance, or I don't know if they got married yet, but I don't think so. Um, they seem to be doing well too. Yeah. And he's a cutie. He's a cutie. I'm just happy for it. They her. both scored. Either way, if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. We want our subscribers to go up, 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 up. up. Wire us. And Chris. Love, Love you a long, long time. time.